guys, how's it going? So, mail day. Today's episode is going to be on the Ray Tracer. Now, this is a yo-yo from Yo-Yo Friends, um, from FPM as well. So, generally a big fan of this stuff. I really liked the Hummingbird and the Magpie. Awesome yo-yos. This is the Ray Tracer. This is a bimetal model. Definitely a bit more expensive, but yeah, keen to get into this. Let's do it. Okay. Whoa, look at that. This looks sick. I really like the orange of this year. It almost, it reminds me kind of like um, a Takeshi kind of isotope. It looks kind of like that. Um, not, nothing to do with that, this yo-yo, but that's just kind of what the orange reminds me of. Um, so, inner ring design, definitely, you know, some flared out profiles. It almost looks, um, it's got an extra cut there for, um, I guess, just for design purposes. And yeah, it looks like a center track. So. Yeah, this definitely looks really interesting. Super excited to play this. Ray Tracer. I don't know what to expect with this one. It looks kind of blocky. It almost, it reminds me very much of, um, there was an old Marcus Koya. Ooh. Ooh, wow. I was going to say it reminded me of an old Marcus Koya called the, uh, I can't remember what it was called, it might have been called the, I think it was called the Aries, yeah. And that was like a yo-yo that was great, but boring as hell. Um, and I was about to say that it plays kind of like this, but no, it does not. So, I'm going to be perfectly honest, um, if you eyeball this yo-yo, and you just look at it, and you're like, oh, okay, it's got this thing, and it's got that thing over there, this really kind of just looks like another one of those yo-yos that's machined out of a Chinese factory and plays how exactly it, but no, it has a very premium feeling weight distribution. It's very light, it's incredibly powerful, and no, this is awesome. I was, I was ready to hate on this, but no, this is great. Um, wow. How can I best describe this? It, it has that, um, kind of, powerful bimetal drop near feel to it um, and it's light but super super stable so it's got that really premium edge weight distribution to it it's yeah no this yo-yo is Ooh. this yo-yo is a lot better than I was expecting um, mainly because of its weight distribution it, it this was designed with um, a lot of expertise I'm not sure who designed this Maybe it was one of the engineers at FPM, but no, this yo-yo, definitely a very, very well-made, well-designed yo-yo. Doesn't look it from the outside, but it's amazing. Um, the shape as well, very, very catchable. It, it reminds me very much of uh, the, the charm it might have been. Kind of plays like that, but a little bit, uh, a little bit more competitive in my opinion. So, yeah, no, let's try some, uh, horizontal. Ugh. Wow, no, awesome. Whoa. Woo! Yo, this yo is good. This is really, really good. It's interesting, because every single time I try a yo-yo friend's yo-yo, um, I'm not initially very interested in how it looks, but whenever I try it, I'm always pleasantly surprised. Super floaty, super nice, everything you need in a competition yo-yo. Definitely has the catchability and can play horizontally. Can't, I can't fault this yo-yo at all. Um, so yeah, if you guys want a new inner ring yo-yo that you will know packs a punch and plays fun and powerful at the same time, consider the Ray Tracer. I was very pleasantly surprised. But yeah, any comments, questions, criticisms, post them down below. I'll see you guys next time.